Uh, my name is Louise Devonish. I'm a percussionist. I work mostly in contemporary music. Uh, and my practice involves a mix of uh, performance making, uh, working with composers mostly and sound artists, doing some collaborative projects and artistic research. Uh, a couple of years ago, Composi, Annie Sia and I worked on uh, a piece for per one percussionist and electronics using different types of sheet materials as one of the primary instruments. Uh, we found that to be really interesting and wanted to see if we could explore different types, other types of sheet materials and expand the scale of our explorations looking at using these materials as instruments, as performative infrastructure uh, and as ways to sound and amplify other musical materials. The, the most interesting part is always trying to get to know these materials and their properties, both as as sound materials, but as well as like visual or insulation materials. So um, the most interesting thing for me is to just kind of observe what these chosen materials do, how they interact with each other, how they kind of quietly talk to one another. We brought in a range of different materials, mostly different types of paper and plastic. The materials that we think have the most potential are very thin mylar sheets, so like the emergency blankets you see in ambulances, those heat blankets. Uh, something called diamond foil, which I believe is used in greenhouses. Dichroic film, which is a window treatment, which has a very quiet, soft, watery sound, but is really attractive for what it can do as far as reflecting light and interacting with the other materials. And very thick mylar sheets, which are almost like uh, gigantic, loose drum heads. So Annie and I reached out to spatial designer Chris Cottrell to be involved in this project right from the beginning. Well, one of the reasons why um, I think Louise and Annie invited me into the project was I'm really comfortable at working at the scale of a room or a, or a whole space. Um, and so they're interested in exploring that scale in the scale of the body and in the scale of the hand. I think that's definitely an aesthetic choice that we, when we were kind of sourcing materials, we were thinking a lot about uh, reflection, transparency, translucency, uh, the possibilities of layering up these different kinds of things and then playing with lighting as well to activate those. Our communication has been really frequent. We have like group chats and um, you know this kind of like 15 hour time difference for some strange reason actually played into our benefit that you know they will finish off a day on site and then they send me all the recordings and notes from the day and I work through them during my daytime and then we sync up during my nighttime when they first get to space. So in some way these kind of working processes uh, then became quite helpful Something I've been working towards over a few projects in the last couple of years is the idea of having these works that are performances and installations. I think an interesting thing with these sheets, you know, if they are set up in big breathing walls or these immersive uh, sort of wraparound spaces, I like the idea of people being in the performance rather than fa facing a performance in one direction or needing to move through a space in order to experience all of the, the sound. So this idea that the, the instrument is engulfing the audience and engulfing the performers and so everyone's part of it. So it's a nice way I think to, um, especially for more abstract ideas, uh, to offer different points of entry for people to engage with new music and performance.